What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival of Old update video. So patch 252 has just recently dropped and with it has come a whole bunch of new features and dinos. In this video we are going to be taking a look at one of the other new dinos, the Pachyrhinosaurus. Alrighty, so we are back on Ark Survival Evolved after quite some time. Now I do apologise for the snail video yesterday guys, I did have to re-upload it three times. At first when I uploaded it, I can't even remember what actually happened. Um, oh yeah, there was a, a really long duration of just a plain black screen and then the second time I uploaded it, it kept replaying the same uh, sort of caption or same sort of little five second bit of the video over and over again for the whole video and that got messed up so then I had to upload it a third time and that was third time lucky it uploaded which was pretty damn awesome but in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Pachyrhinosaurus and I in fact have got some code here to put one in the game wild female Pachyrhinosaurus and we're going to force tame this girl up here if I can get my game Fingers ready. Force tame. I said force tame. Haha. Right. So I want to quickly take a look at the attack animations on it. So we have right click, which is the passive smoke. We have left click, which is just standard attack. And there should be a function to make it drop off. The angry effect. I don't know which one it actually button it is. What other buttons are there that do things on the game? There's C. Oh, there we go. We got the aggro effect to it, and we got a Delo chasing us. But he's Delos are normally aggressive, so we'll have to try this on a passive dino when we can find one. But the attack speed on this guy is so good. Look, just look how fast that is. Now I'm pretty sure the, well I've heard, and I have seen in some other videos, um, that the passive sort of uh, smoke effect, or whatever the correct word for it is, doesn't work on large dinos such as the Giga and the Rex. I'm not too sure as to whether it works on the Bronto or not, but I guess we'll find that out right now. So if I get over to this Bronto, I guess if I can give my thing infinite stats, yeah I can, okay that's good, so it kept running out of stamina, so if I attack, actually let's test on these raptors first, so we got two raptors over here which will start charging me, if I keep running and release the effect, they just casually stop attacking, and walk away, which is really good, and in the top right you can see there's a little cooldown period, or that's sort of how long this effect lasts, so it gives you time to escape the area really. Ooh, the Megalosauruses are awake. Let's test it on these. Now these guys are just sluggish in daytime anyway, but we've got quite a few down here, so this guy's all beaten up. Maybe if I can wake some more of them up. And let off this effect. Leave me alone, please! Aha! It works. It works like intended. This is brilliant. Now, I'm really glad that this is in the game. This is a very unique feature, especially of the Trike 2.0, the little baby trike, the Pachy trike. Uh, cross between the Pachy Cephalosaurus and the Triceratops, it's like they both had a baby and then this creation came out. But as of this little creature here, that is pretty much it. So, in terms of taming the Pachy Rhinosaurus, it is pretty much the same as any other herbivore. Except this one has a sort of odd kill, which kind of makes sense, sort of. So you would tame up this girl here with berries, same way you tame up any sort of um, herbivore, whether it be a trike or a stego. But the kibble for this girl here is in fact a bug repellent. Now I am definitely sure of that. So you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not feeding you lies. It's definitely bug repellent. You can even go try it yourself. But to tame these guys with a kibble, it is bug repellent, which in fact is pretty good considering bug repellent's very cheap and you don't have to rely on eggs. Sort of, oh dear, I've hit him. Oh dear, leave me alone, please. You don't have to rely on eggs to, um, sort of, 
feed them with the kibble because the eggs are obviously very expensive and bug repellent is a lot cheaper and this guy is getting scary close to me. I'm hoping he's going to go down. Leave me alone please. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh, screw it, we use the cheap method. Come here. Wow. Now you are friendly. No, you're supposed to be friendly. Go away. Has it worked? No, it hasn't. You need more trank darts, my friend. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much it for the Paki Rhinosaurus. Now I actually want to do some sort of battle video of this skill here. I want to do an army of Pakis versus Trikes and then I want to try out something with the Megalosaurus. But I'm not too sure what to pair the Mega with, whether it be an Akana or an Allosaurus. Well I guess I could try them both. Uh, I do have, I am open to choice so we'll just see how it goes. I do want to sort of do a battle video at some point. But as of this dino, that is pretty much it. C button does release the aggro attack and I need to get back on it right now because the raptor's coming for me. Right click is the sort of passive friendly effect that gets the wild dinos to leave you alone. And this raptor is starting to piss me off already. <sighs> leave me alone, I'm doing a video! You have to ruin everything! Raptors should just be removed from the game because they are just a headache overall. But yes, anyway guys, I'm dragging on a bit. I just want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Ark Survival Evolved content. Now, I have done a few other videos on the other dinos. That is the snail and the megalosaurus. And then there is the mosh ops as well. So be sure to check them out and I'll see you all in the next video.